The Liberal Party was the biggest victim in yesterday's LegCo elections. It looked like the pan-Democrats would suffer a similar fate, however they survived the low turnout to secure 23 out of 60 seats, just above the third that they require to veto any constitutional changes proposed by the government. Nearing midnight, one hour after the voting ceased, Chief Executive Donald Tsang and the Electoral Affairs Commission's Justice Pang King Ki inspected the counting process, but it was only until early this morning that the full picture became clear. On an exceptionally hot and humid day, voter turnout was sluggish. Street corners across the territory remained quiet and campaigners appeared lethargic. Senior government officials visited the ballot box at their respective polling stations throughout the day. And Justice Pang made several appearances to check on proceedings. But as turnout figures started to roll in, the pan-democrats began to get edgy. In fact, by early evening, Hong Kong Island candidate Audrey Yu was reduced to tears. The Civic Party leader needn't have worried, though. She and running mate Tanya Chan both secured seats. Former security chief Regina Ip was also returned with the largest number of votes for a single candidate on the island. Meanwhile, Democratic Alliance for the Betterment and Progress of Hong Kong veteran Zhang Yok Sing also succeeded. As a result of poor coordination in 2004, Sid Ho was unable to secure a seat. However, this time around, she returned to the legislature, saying that this time it was the pro-government parties who had failed to coordinate their campaigning. Another geographical constituency that was closely contended was Kowloon West. The Civic Party's Claudia Mo, despite the support of Anson Chan, who wasn't running this year, missed out. Both she and Liberal Party's Michael Tien lost, despite raucous scenes in Hong Kong in the late afternoon. In Kowloon East, there were not many surprises, with one seat going to Wong Kwok Kin of the Federation of Trade Unions, one to the DAB's Chan Kam Lam, and one to Alan Leung of the Civic Party, as well as to the Democratic Party's Fred Lee. In the New Territories, it was Leung Kwok Hung, aka Longhair, of the April 5th Action Group and the LSD, as well as Frontier candidate Emily Lau, that made the headlines. They managed to secure wins in the Eastern constituency that didn't seem likely in the election build-up. One of those seats was at the expense of Liberal Party chairman James Tien, who resigned shortly after the results were announced. Also stepping down from the party was Selena Chow, another Liberal casualty. This time the defeat was in New Territories West. So, in the race for the 60 seats in the Legislative Council, a rather tame election day did manage to spring a few surprises. The government had issued warnings about the accuracy of exit poll information beforehand, and so it proved. The DAB remained the strongest party in the legislature, the pan-democrats staged a late rally, and the Liberal Party sunk without trace. And, after an exhausting day and night, even Regina could afford a smile. For the South China Morning Post, this is James Moore.